It's unapologetic. It's a bit like a Nissan GTR. You know, you're not looking to turn up like you're in a Rolls Royce. No, you just want to turn up and make hell. So long-term viewers of the channel will remember the original Benelli 828U video. My conclusion on the game gun is that it shot really well, quite differently, a little bit like one of their semi-autos actually, which is no bad thing. But there was a couple of reliability issues that kind of put me off. Subsequent to that, they brought out a Sporter. And finally, I persuaded them to let me have a go with one. So here she is, the 828U Sport. As you can see, the box has beautiful tartan, lovely custom foam. You know, other gun manufacturers just shove lots of random blocks around. These guys actually have custom cut foam. The box is beautiful. It's designed very much for this gun. And the gun itself is beautiful. We've all seen them before. The sport is slightly different. We'll go into that. But as you can see, the stock does not head up onto the action around an internal locking mechanism. Instead, it bolts to the back like, and this is the clever part, like a semi-automatic, which if you think about it is vastly more intelligent. What that means is that you can m easier make a stock for it. You know, no longer is it overly complex to make a custom stock if you need one. In fact, the cost of a custom stock on one of these is less, like it would be with a semi-automatic. Not that you particularly need a custom stock because like the other 828U that was, or is even, the Sport has 40 odd stock configurations. You have the same shimming system as you would have with the game version or with the semi-automatic. So you can move this up, down, left, right for 40 odd possible combinations. And I have made custom shims in the past so you can actually push it outside of those realms of possibility. Although, like I said, you can have whatever you want. The sporting version is noticeably different that it has a very large full pistol grip and palm swell. So actually it leads out of the head slightly less elegantly. Well, maybe it doesn't. Maybe the way to look at it is it's got a very nice waist. It's, uh, she's a curvy girl. It has a lovely grip. It fills the hand wonderfully. The distance to trigger is a little bit short for me, but it's not bad at all. Actually, you can kind of get on that. It's a, it's a nice gun. The wood on this one is beautiful. And instead of standard checkering, you have a little half moon fishy scallopy thing going on. It is a very pleasant thing. A little carbon fiber thing with the Benelli symbol on there. And the progressive balancing, progressive recoil comfort system on the back there. It always comes with this box. What is in the box? Look in the box. You know, and again, I said this earlier about the, the case, is even the box, it just feels like whoever put this gun together actually put some serious effort into the production. You feel like this is being developed and designed, not just adapted over the years, which is exactly what it was. So here you have your trigger removal key, Allen keys, shims or back plates, Benelli oil, set of five chokes, including the two in the gun, that all have a nice sport brand. Ah, the, the branding on this gun is impeccable. Like it's, it's cool. It's all dark with nice bits of wood and cool chokes. Like it's, it's definitely designed for a target. They didn't um and ah when they decided which furrow to plow for this gun. First things first, the progressive balancing system. This gun, unlike the 828U standard, the 828U Sport is heavier, seven pounds 14 odd to be exact. So it's, it is designed as a sporting clays gun. It's a 30 inch barreled version that we've got here. If you pull the pad on, the whole point of this gun in its adaptiveness is that it has progressive balancing. It has in the back here. So we're gonna pop that off and show you what that means. Now the pad comes off the back. And I believe different pad lengths are available. I'll tell you what, the whole pad concept is quite clever. It is designed to flex differently. Oh, very clever. I think, as I've said many times, guns have remained unchanged for so long. It's really nice when someone comes out with something different. I'm not saying that guns are bad because most of the ones that were developed 100 years ago are very, very good. But, you know, you hit that pinnacle, a bit like things only change very, very smallly. And there is a video out there somewhere or will be shortly of me having a rant and a rave. So you don't have to take this out to do that, but I thought I'd show you just how this all works. So you undo your two screws that screw into nuts back in this back plate here. And out comes all of these weights. And you can take them off, shed some weight. You can add them on and add some weight. And we'll run with all of them in there for now because if we go in the box, they might get lost. The beauty of this is that you can create a gun that balances 
certainly at a point wherever you like. The thing to always bear in mind with any of these balancing systems is a gun with all of the weight spread across its entire course will always feel vastly more natural than a gun with weight in the extremities. Just a thought. Just because you have a balancing point that matches, if you put it on a balance over your hand, does not mean it will handle the same. That's all I'm saying. So not to stress, and I'm not saying that it's, it is bad, I'm just saying that it is different. And as such, if you like a gun that balances in the middle, perhaps making it balance in the middle with these weights will make it handle differently to a gun that balances in the middle that doesn't have that. Inside, you can see your stock bolt, which I think is just a 12, that'd be a 13 mil, uh, spanner thing, socket set, do it in, undo that, and then you can take the stock off and change it again. We have a video out there of doing just that, I believe. A good system. I like the concept of balanceable guns because everyone does like something slightly different. And as much as a gun with all of its balance built across its course is nice, generally they cost a lot of money. Something, I don't know about you, I don't have a lot of. So getting something similar for less is sometimes nice. This is actually quite pleasant to be excited by the 828U again. I forgot how much I genuinely fa was fascinated by it the first time. Uh, trigger guard. Oh, the, the trigger unit. Completely removable. A detachable trigger gun. Uh, so I think this gun, full retail is three and a half thousand, but that will go up or down depending on where you buy it and how many years or what happens in the world. So it is not the cheapest. However, we've already got balancing systems. We've already got grade three, grade four wood. We've already got completely customizable, like a better than an adjustable comb. And now we've got a detachable trigger unit. Do you ever find another detachable trigger unit in that price point? There are a few, to be fair. Um, you push in with your tool, you take out your tool, the trigger comes up, trigger comes back, and then the trigger pulls straight out. You have direct drive firing, ha hammers, I suppose, and you have this large recocking block here that is cocked off the top lever. So when you pull the top lever back, that pushes this bar back, cocks it all. It's such a clever little design. It's different. It's certainly different. And for the most part now works a treat. It now works brilliantly. Whatever gremlins were in it before don't. The safety catch is got the selector built on and actually where it's built into its little recess, it is large, but it, it, it looks like it's part of the gun. It's a good looking gun. The whole sport down the side thing He's actually very tasteful. You know, this gun is unapologetically modern, so why would it have any nods to anything other than itself? 8 u Sport. The lines, the way that it pinches at the back, it's a sweet looking piece of engineering. You have this floating steel plate here that actually locks the barrels up, a tilting Jaegeri blocky type of thing. Now we've looked into that in the past. It's a sweet design. It's very strong, it's very good, and it's different, and its differentness is of value. You put your trigger guard, drop it straight back in, stick your tongue in, push it forward, and that clicks in place. Uh, don't fire the trigger whilst taking it out. Make sure the top lever is central when taking the trigger out, or else you end up with unfortunate situations where you have to start using force. Force is bad. The gun, like I said, locks from a lug underneath, which is a wicked idea, and is hung around two trunnions on the side. The ejection system has built-in springs. They are not easy to take apart. In fact, they are quite complicated to take apart. Not obscenely complicated, just complicated enough. You have a carbon fiber top rib, same on the other, but with this you have a step up and you have this cool arched scalloped inner piece, which actually provides a really nice sighting plane without adding any weight because it's carbon fiber. You have a single bead sight on the front, extended chokes, and no mid rib at all. Just a connector at the front. The whole concept is really smart. And in fact, the execution is brilliant as well. The barrel finish, two and a half, three inch shells, the monoblock, the joint, everything is just well put together, which you can expect from Benelli because they haven't yet made anything in their own factory that is bad, I don't think. Uh, optional clip, the sporting over and under. The forend, the forend is less exotic, but still rather exotic. On the back of this hook here, you have an adjustable screw or just a screw. You can screw that in and out to make your gun feel tighter and will apply, it will just apply pressure 
inside of there. All in all, a very clever system with adjustable tensioning done on a push button style. To take the forehand on and off, you do need to give it a little pinch. Make sure it's connected. It's quite a, it's a strange sort of closure system on these, but it is satisfactory. The forehand just clips on easily. However, to take it off, you just need to pinch, push, forehand comes off. All right, uh, enough boring technical stuff. Let's go shoot it. It's in the bag today, Johnny. Well, this gun, as my cool friend, reminds me of you. This is a Benelli 82 Sport. Thoughts, hold on, hold on. Let's make it cooler. Here. <laughs> First glance, mate, it is pretty cool, isn't it? There's a lot of flat black, satin like wood. It's cool. Yeah, that's really nice. Very nice in the hand, isn't it? Oh, I'm really looking forward to seeing how it, how it shoots. What are we going for? Uh, see, let's go for a D-bird, nice and easy. Warm yourself up. Thanks, mate. Well, you've had a couple of sitters. Yeah. You hit them both. Yeah. Let's warm yourself up on some harder stuff then. What are you going for now? B and F. B followed by F. B, B on the port F. Followed by F. Well. Oh. I mean, it's no indication of missing the B because you missed that before, so it's not a big deal. Oh, yeah. Get back in your room. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd turn it over a new lease. <laughs> yeah, well, he, he just showed a bit too much belly. <laughs> Are you quite finished yet? Shoot the A bird. Try again. There we go. It's really nice, mate. It handles well on this sort of scenario, I think. Don't know what it'd be like on the um, higher driven stuff, but the balance and the weight of it and everything's perfect for sort of. Well, it's designed for people of your size, why not your shooting it, really? It would be unfair for me to. Oh, well, I'm gonna shoot. Is that why you didn't want to use it in the competition, Johnny? Yeah. <laughs> B. Over the top. Over the top. It's, yeah. it's plummeting towards the four and it's fast. Do you know, mate, it, I really like this gun. It is. How's it way up next to your Berettas? Completely different. But for this sort of thing, in a good way, I wouldn't want to take a game shooting. But for this sort of circuit, yeah. it is lovely. Really what? nice. Absorbs all the shot. Balance really nice, nice weight to it. It's my kind of thing, it's, it's all blacked out, you've got that carbon fibre roof rib on the top. Yeah, it's nice dark timber, it's modern enough looking without being too out there. Nice. Spice it up with a B. Yep. First things first is it's utterly controllable. Yeah. Like you know what's going on, it gives such nice feedback. The grip is, the, with the grip out for and are particularly nice. Just yeah. enough palm soil without being obnoxious. Two in your face. Nice. Bottom edge. Meter. Three feet, which is an uncomfortable amount since yeah, yeah. it's sat. Not enough. Oh. Nice, right in the middle. And a really uncomfortable amount of lead. Do you not this. find that the weight and the size of that gun and the balance of it gives you that smooth flow with it as you're swinging it around? You can get a real good hold of it, yeah. but then it's not allowing you to just beat it all to hell. It stops you from doing it yeah, consciously. Yeah. Hey, it's got to be up there in one of the nicest guns I've shot in a while. Yeah, I would say so. Everything about it would feel bad shooting game. Yeah, it's not a game gun in any way, shape or form, but for this job, it's absolutely perfect. I, I think it would be a very good sporting gun. Yeah. But it does just it lends itself to be shot gun down. No, it's not entirely related, but as a connection to this video, Benelli are looking for new young sporting sponsored shooters. I was thinking if you're shaved. <laughs> I dyed my hair. Got yeah. The greys. No, you could be like, go all grey and say it's fashion based. Yeah. Yeah. All you right. could be it. 
Alternatively, here's a link. So you could go and become the new Benelli sponsored sponsored young shooter. Oh, segways. Go for it. Beautiful. This is a nice machine. It is. It almost makes it feel like you could be lazy shooting it and get away with it a lot. Oh, yeah. It's easy. It is, isn't it? Like I said, we just snuck up to the high tower. There's not really designed for, but we just shot some out there that are 30, 40 yard out to the side, and what do you say it was 130 foot the tower? You know, it's, it's not gonna not gonna break any records for being the prettiest, most beautiful thing in the world, but no, but it's a bit badass. It is badass. It looks nifty and cool. Yeah, it's unapologetic. It's a bit like a Nissan GTR. You know, you're not looking to turn up like you're in a Rolls Royce. No. You just want to turn up and make hell. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. It feels like an, a gun from like the late 90s. And I probably sound so stupid. Yeah. But for a gun with loads and loads of tech, it just feels like the guns that you and I probably started with. Well, GTIs, old 686s. It, like. it feels very similar to my old 687. Yeah. My 687 Sporter. It's the same sort of weight. It's better balanced. It's better balanced. And it feels it a lot nicer in the hand, but it gives you that style of shooting, doesn't it? Yes, which is perhaps suits our style of shooting better than it would suit some of the more professional 32 inch big heavy gun styles. Yeah. Which will suit that fit dice layout. Yeah. Or sport trap. Or. I don't know. I could suit anyone, to be honest, mate. Yeah. How epic is that? So there you go, that's what it looks like, and that was our thoughts in the field. I had a few days to digest, and I spoke to a few people about it, and well, here are my concluding thoughts. Firstly, I don't think the 828U is being marketed to the same sort of person that would buy a 692, or a 694, something like that, a bigger heavyweight classic sporter. The 828U Sport is an enjoyable and very easy gun to shoot. It doesn't have the same characteristics that would make an amazing sporting gun for shooting in more classic styles. However, it didn't require a lot of effort to shoot that a lot of these bigger guns do. So I see it falling into that category for people who don't want to shoot utterly seriously but still want to shoot really well and want something a bit different. It was likened by another reviewer to, you know, dyeing your hair purple. But I don't see it like that. I see it as is, it's a bit like shooting a side by side. You're shooting it because it's truly enjoyable to shoot and utterly fit for purpose. Not everyone wants to be a boring silver pigeon and browning 525 owner. It's quite cool to own something a bit different. And yeah, you have to pay a premium for that. But it's more of a premium gun. I, I genuinely enjoyed it. And it's only through talking to other people who have tried to put this spell in my mind that perhaps I shouldn't like it, that I find quite strange. I went into it wanting to love it, but being totally prepared to hate it. And I really, really liked it. It just reminded me of like the perfect first gun. So you can go and just enjoy and have fun with that's better than the basic stuff, but not hard work. I mean, you pull it out of a bag and yeah, the operating system is different to everything else, but that is inherently cool. And to be honest, if a gun makes you smile, there's no reason for it to make anyone else smile. To be honest, I don't think the sort of person who's buying this gun really cares about anyone else's approval anyway. It's cool, it's fun, it shoots well, it looks good. And to be honest, that's a good recipe for a fun gun. The bottom line is that yes, you could spend your money way more intelligently and a bit more boring. It's a bit like saying I could go and buy a fast Audi. It's very fast and very efficient. But it's also boring as sin. Alternatively, you could spend that same money on a little roadster that would bring you countless joy, do very, very well on the road. Yeah, it's not got the same horsepower. Yeah, it's not got the four wheel drive or any of this, but who cares? Because it's gonna make you smile every time you get in it. And I think that's the 828U all over. Make you smile every time you get in it, but still perform very, very well. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Go and check one out. It shoots differently to how you would expect when you handle it, but it was just easy. Heat-seeking, clay-seeking gun. Woo!
Guys, take care. Goodbye. Thank you very much for watching. And hey, go and do that sponsorship thing if you want to, if you're a child, not if you're an adult. Unless you're a child-sized adult. Take care, guys. Mm -hmm.